The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Whether you follow Jesus or not, if there's one verse in the Bible you may have heard or even memorized, it's quite possible that it's that one phrase from the 23rd Psalm. This Psalm in its entirety or in verse singly is read at funeral homes and it's often written on granite markers found in cemeteries. But as familiar as it might be to you, I wanted to pause today for a moment just to reflect on one of those opening lines, I shall not want. What does it mean that if the Lord is my shepherd and if I believe that, then I had better not be asking for things? Does it mean that if I do find myself wanting things that I really maybe don't believe God is my shepherd? Is this a test of my spiritual maturity perhaps? I shall not want. Is this a phrase that I should repeat three times before going to bed and, and then again as I walk from the parking lot to the department store just to keep me from overbuying what I came for in the first place? Perhaps maybe it's a phrase that I should print and stick to my computer screen to serve as a reminder when I'm browsing Amazon online before feverishly clicking the buy it now button. <laughs> I shall not want. As I look slowly at what David the shepherd wrote here, I'm not finding that he originally meant that if I believe the Lord is my shepherd, I'd better not want or therefore I'm a loser. Instead, I'm finding that the heart of the shepherd was in fact knowing that the Lord is my shepherd. I have full confidence that there is nothing that I will be in need of. Wow. There is nothing that God will not provide. And there's nothing that could surround me that my good shepherd is not fully aware of and that he is not already calling me to watch him closely as he leads me through the valley. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Matthew 6.33 in the New Testament, it reads, Seek the kingdom of God above all else, and put him first, and he will give you everything you need. Oh, I like that. In other words, God says, just put me first in your life, in your heart, in your mind. Live like you mean that, and trust that I, the Lord your God, will handle the rest. The Lord is my shepherd. Knowing that and believing that, wow, is there really anything else I need to know?